Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can set up the communication between your Fuxa WebSCADA and your Murbus TCP IP device. Okay. And then after we have covered that how to create your Murbus TCP IP device tag in Fuxa WebSCADA and how you can create a minimal dashboard to read and write your Murbus TCP IP device tag. Okay. So here is our dashboard. I can monitor my tag values. Also, I can write something on my tag. Okay, if you want to see, you can see the value is 177. If I write 44 here, then the value will update here. You can see it is getting updated 44. And if I want to write something here, suppose if I want to write 71, then you can see 71 is getting updated here. Now I want to create a graph of these values. Okay, I want to add chart or you can say the trend for these two values on my dashboard. Then how can I do it? okay so in this video what we are going to cover is how to configure and add chart or trend in the fuxa webscada dashboard so here is our dashboard for our morbus tcp device what i want is i want to create a trend or chart for this two tag so let's see how you can do that so here is our editor so you have to navigate to the editor first and then after you have to click on the edit project and here you have to go to the line charts okay so click on the line chart click on this plus icon here and you have to provide the name of your chart so here is our modbus tcp device chart okay and i'm going to press ok here then after we have to add tag for which we want to generate the trend or chart so you have to click on this three dot you have to click on the add line and you have to select the uh, tag which you want to add inside the trend okay so i have selected this two variable or you can say this two tag now i can press ok here and you can see both are added and you can see the color for hr0 is blue let me change it to dark blue and for hr1 we have the red color okay so after that you have to press ok and then after from the controls you have to pick the charts okay so here you can see chart so you have to click here and then you have to add here now you can move it here let me maximize it okay now here we want to show the graph of this two variable hr0 and hr1 so what we can do is after uh, dragging the chart from control panel to our dashboard we can go to the properties of the chart and here we can provide the chart name so it's a char chart for holding registers okay and the chart we want to show is the chart which we have created just now modbus tcp device chart okay so if you go to that edit project again and if you click on the line chart here we have created modbus tcp device chart you can see here modbus tcp device chart so the same chart we are going to add here and uh, which type of data you want to show in the graph okay you want to show the real time data history data or custom data you have to select it here we want to show the real time data for last five minutes okay and uh, you can select the date format like this this is the time format and that's it you can save your project here and then you can go to your dashboard again and you can refresh it you can see we have the data here okay you can you can hover your mouse here and you can see hr0 has value of 44 and hr1 has value of 71 okay i can change the values from here so the red uh tag will go down you can see hr1 has value of 16 and i can make it zero again you can see hr1 has value of two and uh, i can click here and i can press down button you can see the value is now zero for hr1 and let me adjust this too okay let me do auto increment and we will start it from zero so you can see drastic change in the graph and it will increase one point every time okay you can see the value is six eight and then ten and then twelve okay so this is how you can create a chart in the fuxa web scala it's a very 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 easy okay all you have to do is you have to go to the edit project you have to go to line chart 
okay and then after you have to click this icon i mean click this plus icon you have to provide the name okay and once you provide the name you will see the chart here okay and then after you have to click on the add line and then after you can select which tag you want to add so you want to add hr0 and hr1 then just press ok those will be added ok and you can select the interpolation here so if you want uh, tap after interpolation for this chart and uh, for hr1 if you want step before interpolation then you can select it from here and you can press ok and uh, you can take chart from the control section here ok just click here on the chart drag and drop here select the properties okay in the properties you have to select which chart you want to show here okay you have to select it here after that how much interval of data you want to show in the chart so we want to show the last five minute of data on the chart with real time values okay you have to select the date and time format you want to show the legend always or you want to follow the cursor you want to show the legend always on bottom that thing you can set it from here okay you can also set label for your y-axis but uh, it will be based on your requirement okay so that's it we can save our project and we can go to the home page okay and we can refresh it okay you can see the value is continuously updating okay if i make it zero again then you will see you can see previously it was like slope but right now we have changed the interpolation uh yeah that is interpolation i guess yeah interpolation okay so based on the interpolation you will see the graph uh passion okay so i hope this thing is clear and if i change the values here then you will see step up okay so this is how your graph will be visible on your dashboard and whenever you hover your mouse at the bottom on the legend you will see the timings okay so it's a very useful feature of this fuxa webscada so i hope this thing is clear that how you can create and configure your chart in the fuxa webscada and you can monitor your values live in the fuxa webscada okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp you can get the link from here and you can ask me whatever doubt you have so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will see how you can set up the alarm for any of your tag okay so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you